Man, I don't want to cut a crazy animal was making noises last night. But I'm glad I was alone again. Because <laughs> it was like scary sounding. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't really that scary. But it seems like it when you're in your tent and it's dark. I know there was some deer walking around and eating and stuff. I could, you could just kind of tell by the size and the way they walked. But, oh, I am so stiff and sore this morning. Um, it's funny because I think, you know, I know Early Riser has mentioned on his videos about using those rollout things. And I keep thinking, man, I really could probably use one. It might help. Because oh, I'm stiff. And uh, Anson and Toy Story and I were talking this morning about the trail oh god and how it's almost like we were talking about running because we've all been runners and we're talking about how this is like running a marathon every day <sighs> it kind of is <laughs> and it's funny because i ran a marathon in 2015 and i was like nope i'll do that again <laughs> and here i am doing this oh but i've got a little bit of oh i got a little pain in my knee all of a sudden, uh, yeah, that's not good. All right, so far this morning has been a lot of this. Just this grassy, long grassy stuff. Makes the legs itch. Oh. So yeah, I was having some knee pain there for a minute when I was hiking and it freaked me out. And I think I got like a little bit of fluid on my knee. Uh, as I hike, it seems like it's getting better. But I am hiking even slower than normal. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do 16. And I'm not sure if this is a combination of me coming back out and not doing as low a mileage early on as I should have. Or if it's that I'm just not drinking enough water. And I feel like I am. Like I, you know, I go to the bathroom all day. <clears throat> but or if I'm just not drinking enough water when I get done. I felt like I was trying to drink water last night, but my, I mean, I really, I don't know. If anybody's a doctor and you know, I don't, I don't want to hear say advice. I want actual legitimate medical advice. Um, I actually have a hiking friend who reached out as a doctor who I could try to contact, I guess, and ask. I don't want to get injured and I'm about to finish this hike. But man, it sucks because I need to do 16 miles today. So I could do 10 tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. Looks like part of an old chimney. Probably used to be an old home site. So I just realized I looked on gut hooks and that what I thought was a chimney was actually a monument to a guy named Nick Grindstaff, who's a local hermit in the area. I don't know much else about it. I just, it was on good hooks. I was like, oh, I wonder if that's what that was. So, um, so there. Oh, and then while I'm thinking about it, because I know a couple of people have asked me about that bite on my shoulder, about the spider bite. Well, <clears throat> um, so actually, I thought I'd already put this in my video, but I guess I didn't. Uh, when I was at Uncle Johnny's, there's another through hiker, a lady who's through hiking, who's a medical doctor. So she looked at it for me and she said, it's not a spider bite. That something had bit me, but it wasn't anything like infectious. It was infected or you know anything bad. So she told me just put some Neosporin on it. And so I did. And literally like that very night, it scabbed over. And then like, it was like the next day or the day after the scab even came off, like it's already healed. So it worked, that his point worked. 
Um, so I don't know what bit me, but she said it definitely wasn't a spider bite though. So that's good. Uh, well, I just realized I left my one liter water bottle sitting on the pigment table at the shelter. Ants and Toy Story were still there, so maybe they'll bring it to me, but it sucks because it had like, it was full of water and it has my aqua clip on it too. And the worst part is, is I didn't stop at the water source back a while back because I was like, well, I got plenty of water until, you know, the next one. And I'm completely out of water. <sighs> this day is starting off awesome. Yeah, it's just been this, this like tall grass, grassy stuff. But it's been a pretty easy hike so far. So there's that. <sighs> but man, <clears throat> all the mosquito bites and stuff I got on my legs, it's like aggravating it because it's like rubbing it and making me itch. And I'm trying not to scratch it. Catch those insects. Catch them all. Hey buddy, wanna hike with me? I think we're about the same pace. Oh, well, Toy Story just passed by and he had my water bottle. So that's awesome. So I got my bottle back. So now I'm filtering some water. So I'll have plenty of water until the next water source. But I was there and I was like trying to camel up as best I could, but that one 20 ounce bottle Oh no, it's not very much water. Um, not considering, I mean, I think that might be what's causing like all these, like my knee getting swollen and my, I don't know, I don't even know at this point. But luckily, I'm holding my bottle. So, yay. <sighs> so, so far the, the, the trails been like really pretty easy. I'm hoping it stays away. I mean, it looks kind of like there's a lot of ups and downs, but it did coming and it really wasn't bad at all. So I'm hoping it continues that way. It would be nice to have a little bit easier day today. But I guess we'll see. We are about to go through some cow pastures though. I saw that on the gut hooks. And again, a common theme. I'm going to come to a parking lot. I wish there was a trash can, <laughs> but there's not. All right, I think this is where we have to go through the cow fields. Gonna get hot. Hmm.
It's an old truck. And look up here. The AT barn. Oh yeah. Ta -da! I don't know if this is the barn that everybody gets their picture made from, but it's really overgrown, so I don't know, but it's really overgrown. I had to like walk through this stuff. I don't know if I was supposed to, but I did it a little bit. <laughs> It sucks that it's like overgrown. I wonder if that's the one, like there's some, but I've seen a bunch of people have their picture made in front of the barn with an AT like that. But this is really overgrown. <clears throat> I do know. There's a nice bench here you can sit. And look at this awesome view right here. Look, it's kind of crazy. All these random rocks. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Careful. This is the AT. <laughs> I guess the rocks are for the blazes. Oh, the wrong spot. I don't know how many people have done that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's cool. You can actually sit on the rocks if you want to do. It's nice and flat. And now we're back in the woods. It is much cooler here. I stopped here at this stupid shelter to take a break and it's just I can't the bugs are so bad I mean they're just so awful I mean they're just eating me alive no matter how much freaking bug spray I use no matter what I do they're just and then this stupid grass I mean look at my knee I don't know if that's chiggers or what probably oh my god I'm struggling I just went out of this. This is like this part of the freaking AT through Tennessee is hell. It's horrible. And I'm tired. I want to take a lunch, but I cannot stop at that shelter. I mean, one nice thing was there was a lady and a guy, Janice and Dave were there when I showed up. There's a chick book. Anyway, and she saw my knee and how bad it was. So she had a couple of Claritins and a couple of Benadryls on her. So she gave them to me. So I took the Claritin just now. Cause it's you know, like the knee is a little swollen. And I thought maybe I could take the Benadryl tonight when I sleep. I, I can't take it while I hike or I'll fall asleep. <laughs> I won't go to hike. Anyway, I know, like, this is just part of it, you know, the mental, the mental stuff. But man, I don't know, it's just like, I feel like you can't catch a break on this freaking trail. You know, most of the time it's either, I mean, it just doesn't ever seem like, it's, I've had some good days. I've had some days that were really great. But it's like, you spend more days not like having something whether it's the weather or bugs or i mean just something 
the terrain, the trail. I mean, today, I mean, it's like the trail hasn't been that horrible as far as like ups and downs. And it hasn't been, the terrain hasn't been very bad. But you just got this grass going everywhere. So, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, that's probably what's on my knee is chiggers. And I can't wear pants. I can't. I'm telling you, I tried. I am literally suffocating. I can't do it. So, and I mean, a bunch of other people don't wear pants and they don't have a problem. Anyway, I know, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with how I'm feeling. And maybe in another 30 minutes or an hour, I'll be fine. But it just sucks. I can't even stop to take a lunch because the bugs are literally swarming me. And I have literally a ton of like date on. So it's just this whole area. It's just disgusting. I mean, really, I don't like this. I mean, I know every tiny mile of the AT can't just be beautiful, but this is not beautiful. This is ugly. And it's, ugh. I don't like it. Sorry. Sorry if you live in this area. I just, I don't like all this grass. I don't like it. I mean, Y'all might watch my videos and be like, I think, I think it looks fine. Well, maybe if I was it, if my legs weren't covered in welts, I would feel different. I don't know. But anyway, I didn't stop for lunch, even though it's like perfect time to stop for lunch. Oh my God. I got my eye now. And my eyes turn red. I know. I, sound, I know I'm not being very positive, but sometimes you can't be positive. Especially because now the next water source is three and a half miles away. Which, I mean, I've got a whole bottle of water and I still got water here. It's just, I just need to relax. And honestly, I don't know. I just, look, I'm just venting. I'm venting, okay? That's all I'm doing. I'm venting. I know it'll all be better. I know it's all going to be fine. Just part of it, right? But I'm just telling you, you want to do this. It ain't all fun games. Like, it's more, more, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I get why there's not a lot of people that finish this trail because you're out here and all this crap is happening to you and you're like, why am I doing this to myself? Why? I'm not even a quarter of a way yet. And I'm already like, look at me. I'm already like bitching. <sighs> okay. It's going to get better. This is a mental game, right? I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. So it looks nice right here. Well, right here is actually not that bad because the grass isn't hitting your feet, your knees and legs. My knees and legs, I should say. See? Back to this stuff. See? Not enough. <laughs> well, I stopped at this gap I'm at, low gap, to take a lunch break. I made mashed potatoes. I, did, I made my dinner for lunch. Um, because I forgot I needed the energy more, although I couldn't eat all of it. And I had a couple of nice people give me, um, ice cold water, so that was nice. Um, I took my shoes off for a little bit, and I cleaned my legs and put, like, Neosporin on and all that. Um, I've got 4.8 to get to the shelter. I was hoping I would run into ants, because I kind of wanted to know where he was going to go. Um, I just don't like this area. I mean, I know that sounds bad, but it's just, I don't know. It's just not very attractive. Like, I don't know. It kind of creeps me out, I guess. I don't really like staying by myself in creepy areas. And I know that's just me, mentally me. You know, I need to get over that, but it's just how I am, how I feel. And I don't know. You know, it's just one of those days. Just not a... 
it's just a day but the good news is is if i can't at least bang it there today which i should it's um oh it is always on military time so it's two almost three it's getting close to three so if it's 4.8 and I do a two mile per hour pace, which I guess I've been doing, then I mean, I get there in two and a half hours. I mean, the latest I should get there should be six, but there's a lot of ups, a lot of ups and downs from here. So like they look bigger than the other ups and downs. So it's hard to say, but I'm so tired. I'm just always so tired. So hopefully I, I run into Ants and I see him. I don't know. He might be in like Toy Story was going to go all the way to Damascus. He might. Maybe he's going to plan to do that too. I don't know. There's no way. I wish. I wish I could. Because I would love to just go ahead and be in Damascus right now. And I got to figure something out to keep me from getting bit constantly. I've got to. It's just. So, sorry, I, I guess I'm a little bubby on this video, sorry, but this is just realities of through hiking. I mean, it's not every day is rainbows and sunshine. I mean, it's it's really hard and it takes a toll on you sometimes. And today's one of those days. It's just more and more of this. This is Queen's Knob Shelter, which is now considered like a historic building and not really meant to be used as a shelter. It wouldn't keep you very dry, that's for sure. All right, I got like a mile and a half left. Well, I made it to camp. Well, to a camp. How do you feel about being on video? All right. Okay. I do YouTube. I look terrible. No, you I don't. Any makeup. No, <laughs> I don't have any makeup either. Uh, so this is Ladybug. She she was very kind to decide and allowed me to share her camping spot with her. So just doing kind of a little stealth camping for now. <laughs> so I, I pushed on past the campsite um, since there was no one there and there's supposed to be bear activity and I just didn't want to deal with it. So so luckily I found. A hiking camping companion for the evening. <laughs> so I think I just have like maybe six miles, seven miles into Damascus. Or no, eight. Yeah, I'd say eight. Eight, probably about eight miles, something like that. But a little less than I was supposed to have. So eight or nine, it was something 10 like that. Four from Damascus. Okay, so maybe like nine shelter. miles. Yeah. All right. So anyway, I'm all set up and I'm gonna say good night. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, my legs are so bad. Mm. You can help me get my sleeping bag.